What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Sorry that you cannot see me today. My webcam is trash, so I have to get a new one. But we'll do this with or without it. I'm going to be making a Afro beat in Reason right now. So I have seen it pulled up. Never used this preset before, and it sounds pretty dope. So I'm going to go a little bit experimental with this Afro beat. Nonetheless, it will still be an Afro beat. So let's go ahead and get something recorded. Going to select all of these notes and then hit Command and K to quantize it. Gonna duplicate this, Command J to join them. All right, I now wanna add some notes with this piano, so I'm just gonna click on the sequencer button. Create a clip inside of the sequencer for the piano. Double click inside of it, and I am in D sharp minor, as we discussed previously. Gonna put the grid mode on grid, and uh, grab the pen tool with W. Now I want to see the melody I did previously with Scenic, so I'm going to put on multi-lane mode and then hold down shift and select this clip right here also, this second instrument here, which is Scenic. And now I can see what I did both times in uh, both instruments, both clips. <laughs> All right, we see our note down here is an F sharp, so I'm going to do the same thing there. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so I can get closer. And I want to duplicate this over. I'm going to hold down Command to move it from left to right. And I played a different note here which is an F, so we're gonna move these notes down to that F command down. And this is basically the same throughout, so I'll just duplicate this one more time. Command A to select all of them also, if you don't wanna drag. Let's add some extra notes to this since this piano isn't monophonic and we can play more than one note. Monophonic means you can only play one note like the previous instrument we had and polyphonic means you can play more than one note as in chords like a piano or whatever the case may be. Alright, cool. I like that. Now, let's go ahead and take a break on our instruments and melodic elements and start adding some percussive elements like drums. Right here, I have my kick and my template. So let's go ahead and just lay down what we would like to do. I'm going to get rid of a few things that are in my template uh, pattern for the drum sequencer and we'll start like so. So let's go ahead and get that four to the floor. Same thing for this part here. I'll just go through and do the same thing to all of them. So what I can do is in my first pattern with all of the kicks, I can drop down, hit copy, paste it to the second part, paste it to the third part. And if you don't know how to make the drum sequencer automatically switch patterns, I'll have a video at the end that you can watch and see how to set that up. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get a snare in here. I would like to use one from the Raven Wings drum kit, which is the Wakanda snare. So I'm going to drop that here on two, where I have correlating to the two in my drum sequencer and set that up. So let's go ahead and hear what we can get. Turn it up a bit. If 
for this one i'm gonna go ahead and double this same thing copy paste this to the other ones and then i'll come back to each individual and add some variation so for this first one i'm gonna keep the double out All right, let's uh, try adding a double here. I like that. I actually want this tambourine here, so I'm gonna drag that on seven, where I set up my perk to be on channel seven. And uh, let's go ahead and put that in here and see what we might wanna do with this. So I'm thinking I want something like that. Cool thing with the drum sequencer is that if we go to preset, and we go up, I believe six times or five times, then we'll get an automatic step that, that I like to use. Let's hear what this one sounds like. Let's uh, keep going through the presets a little bit. And I like this one right here. This is basically what I did before, but it automatically um, variates the velocity for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this pattern to the other ones. And of course, add some variation. Let's turn this down, add some reverb with umph. All right, this sound right here is a little weird, so I am now going to change it. And let's go for the music box sound and we'll kind of scroll through and see which one we like better. I like this one. Let's add some reverb. Little delay. Turn on ping pong. Slight filter. Not too much. Let's go ahead and switch this piano up and see what else we what else we can get. Maybe we could try a flute with it. Gotta be careful with some of these ID8 sounds. They do come out of the box pretty dry with no effects on them. Let's try the vibe sounds under the piano. See how that sounds. Gonna go ahead and put halftime on this from Cable Guys and see what we can get with that. So that's a nice sound. Only problem is it is colliding with our clang. So what I'm gonna do is go into our clang melody. Let's X out of that, there's nothing here. And I'm gonna select all of these notes. Didn't mean to do that. Goodness. Command A, hold down Command and Shift together and then press the down arrow. And let's cycle through these sounds again. And I like this sound right here. So I'm going to equalize these velocities and bring it down a bit. All right, cool, this is what I have so far. All right, we got some basic melodic elements and we also have some drums down. Now we can go into adding bass or, you know, 
all Afro beats don't have bass in them. So you don't even have to add bass. You could be done here and all you'd have left is your sequencing. But just as a bonus, I'm going to go ahead go ahead and add a bass sound. I'm going to stick with Reason rack extensions in this case and I'm going to add the Reason electric bass rack. All right, I'm going to stick with a really simple pattern for this bass and let's get it in 5/4 now. All right, cool, we got it here. I'm going to also, again, make sure we have multi-lane on and select both of these and change some notes around depending on what I played. So rather than going up to the six, I would like to go maybe down to the two. Hold down command and hit the down arrow arrow to move that. I'm gonna duplicate that again, and now I have a basic bass pattern for my Afro beat. So really simple. That is how you get the basics of an Afro beat down in Reason. Definitely let me know what else you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.